All right, so after three days off at home, we're jumping back on the road. First, I gotta drive up to the Springfield Terminal and I have to get my actual physical license plates for my truck. I've been rolling around with no license plate. I'm still technically legal because I got a piece of paper. Before we jump into this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up and smack that subscribe button and let's do some trucking, y'all. <laughs> When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you were you referred to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. <laughs> So we're here at the Springfield Terminal. Oh, I gotta turn my headlights off here. So Prime's been uh, sending me reminders to come and pick up my plates. So whenever you get into your own truck, you're gonna come to the Springfield Terminal through the outbound. And over here to the right where these do double doors are, we're actually gonna go in those doors. And this is where you would get all your, your permits, your insurance for your truck. They'll give you a big binder. I'm gonna go in here and grab the license plates to my truck. And I'm also gonna see if they have my New York sticker. Uh, when you're driving in New York, you gotta have a, a New York sticker on your truck. They said they have my plates because they sent me a message through the Prime app. That's how Prime communicates with you. They'll send you messages. So let's go up in here and see if they got all my stuff I need. Whew. Got a little Christmas stuff. Choom. Oh yeah, I was trying to grab a, they said my license plate was ready to pick up for my truck. What's your truck? Uh, it's a 633-615. And I didn't know if my New York sticker was in, in yet, but I, they did message me about my license plate. It's a lot of plates. Yeah, it is. 633-615? Yes. There you go. All right, awesome, thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. 633-615, perfect. So I guess I just get one plate and I got my New York sticker. They didn't even give me any mounting hardware for this. Uh, I need to take a couple paper towels and wipe this down so I can put the sticker on here. Put my muffins back up there. Love me some muffins. I'm the muffin man. Let's go dry this off and I'll put this New York sticker on and then I'm gonna go over to the tractor shop area and see if they got mounting hardware. Uh, all right, make sure to clean this off real nice. Put this bad boy on. Oh, there we go, perfect. Now that we got that on, whether your company or lease, they're gonna give you a binder like this. They have to pick up in the place I just grabbed my license plate from in my uh, New York sticker. Has all your uh, cab cards, insurance, everything that you need. So this is the motor carrier card here for my truck. So I'm going to put it in here. All right, we're gonna slide it right in here. All right, come on, man. There we go. So I got all my paperwork, got everything I need here in my binder, and I always keep it right here, keep it in your side door. It needs to be within reaching distance if you, you know, get pulled over for an inspection or anything. So now we're gonna go see if they have uh, nuts and bolts for this, so that way I can put my license plate on. All right guys, so I just got some uh, nuts and bolts with some lock washers from the, uh, the tractor shop over at Bay 47. I actually thought that they were gonna charge me for these, but uh, they just showed me where all their nuts and bolts were, so I grabbed a nice, Nice little set. So now we're going to put this license plate on. All right, let me grab my gloves. I also got to grab my drill. Oh, you mother sucker. Yeah, I always keep you some gloves. I hope I got my drill bits. I'll show you what I got to do here. On this front bumper right here, guys. So, all right, let me get one of these uh, nuts off here real quick. I'll show you what, what's going on here. So, all right, so this actually, this isn't going to really fit. This is one of the, this is the skinniest bolt that they had available. So. And if you look closely at the top here, when they powder coated this front bumper, the powder coat sealed the holes on the top and these won't fit here. So it's no big deal. This is uh, why it's always good to have uh, you know some kind of tools. So I'm gonna grab my drill and I should have some drill bits in here somewhere. There we go. So let me get my drill out. We're gonna basically, we're gonna drill a hole in here so that way these will fit. Okay, let's see what size. I think we're gonna go, let's see a quarter inch. Go with a quarter? Yeah, I'm gonna go with a quarter. Quarter inch drill bit. All right, put that baby. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, let's get the top. Perfect, look at that, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth like butter, like butter. Ta-da. There we go, yeah. There we go, perfect. All right, now let's check to make sure that this 
bolt goes in there. Perfect. 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 That's what we wanted right there. All right. I got to see what size these are here. Take all these nuts off here. Uh, real quick. Yeah, boy. Here we go, 10. All right. Okay, so that's a 10. And is this a 10? The nuts a 10? Okay. So, a uh, 10 inch to hold the back. And I'm gonna put this on my torque drill here. Just makes the job a little bit easier. All right. All righty. It's kind of hard to see. You probably guys can't see it, but. All right, so there's the first one. So I always put the, the bolt and put the lock washer in the front and then we just put the nut and tighten the nut on the back by hand. All right, there's that one. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna twist that on there by hand first. And I'm gonna zip this up real good. And that way these are never gonna back off of this plate. Grab your wrench, 10 mil. I'm gonna hold the back of the nut. I'm gonna zip the front. There we go, perfect. Yeah, these are never coming off. I can tell you that right now. These are never coming off. Not after I put them on like this. Bam, that sucker ain't going nowhere. Looks good too. Almost looked like a professional did it right there. I always keep some of this diesel 911 in case your fuel filters get clogged up. There we go. We're about to head out right now and we're gonna head over to Aurora, but first uh, we're gonna have these boys over here at the Springfield terminal fuel up the truck before we start rolling, baby. Man, I gotta fix this dang squeak on my seatbelt. It's really, really annoying me. Yeah, so every time you come through uh, the any one of the prime terminals, always just have your headlights on and then turn your flashers on. I'm not hooked to a trailer right now, but if I was, they would do, uh, they would inspect it. And if it needed a, a tire replacement, uh, small things, they could do it right here in the bay before you leave or, you know, if you're coming in inbound. And then uh, a few of these bays, they have a scale. So if you need to get a weight on your truck and trailer, you can do that for free here at the prime yards. One in Pittston, uh, Pennsylvania. The other one in Salt Lake City and this one here in Springfield, Missouri. So it's the only thing that I don't like about when I have to come into the one of the terminals is it's time consuming getting in and out. So I just came here because I needed to get my New York sticker for my truck and my license plate. Uh, like I said, I'm still grinding here on the inedible side uh, and, I'm, and I'm loving it. You know, Prime's not perfect, but you know, no company is, but hey, I'm still, I'm still here. Oh, and I got my, external speaker for my cb radio now i can be able to you know jam out on my radio and i can still be able to hear it so that was the only spot that i could put it without drilling any holes here in the upper console plastic i just bolted it there's another bolt like this bolt here that holds this overhead console up on that side so that's where i put the speaker so that was the the best spot for it but it's it's pretty nice so everything's working in here there we go yep yeah <laughs> and my damn fridge works too damn good because when i was on home time for three days and i got back in the truck today i went to open up my monster and it, and it was all like frozen ice so i had to turn my uh i had to turn the temperature down in my fridge and this squeaking is really getting annoying i gotta fix this squeak all right this guy's gonna open this up so we can get some fuel honky horn Yee -hee. Wee -hee. Let's go, baby. Get some fuel and some death. No, no, no. Yeah, thank you, boss. Appreciate it, boss. All right, let's roll, baby. Time to roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. I don't know what trailer that I'm grabbing, but we're gonna go check in with them boys down there. Hopefully it's ready. It said my appointment's at 11 o'clock. It is 1047. I should get there about 1145-ish. I gotta fix this damn seatbelt. Uh, all right, I don't know what trailer that I'm gonna be grabbing, but 
let me get out of the way here and we're gonna go in here with these boys in this little shack over here and I'm gonna find out which uh, which trailer I'm gonna be grabbing here all right let's back her up here a little bit get her on up out of the way here back her up there we go all right sprinkling just a little bit just a little bit should probably put my damn boots on what's up boss how you doing bro uh good uh here for uh mars pet care mattoon for 11 o'clock today pick up you're probably looking at about four to five hours holy snikers okay well i mean i'll do it. i'll take my split break then y'all heard him so now we just got to sit and wait and uh i freaking knew it he's taking this trailer first to get loaded and he just told me uh, that that trailer he just pulled around is going to a uh, canada uh we do pull tankers to canada i don't have a passport but i heard that there's good good money uh if you do have a passport and you're willing to go to canada they got good paying canada loads here on the tanker side this is actually going to be my trailer right here so he's he's taking that one over there to get loaded right there over at afb and then he said after they load that one he'll bring that back hook to hook to my trailer and then they'll load mine so now that I know what trailer number I got, which is 5739 on my paperwork, we always put an MT in the front. As you can see, all the inedible trailers, uh, they start with an MT in the front. If it has a 98, that means that this has a pump on it. And most of these uh, 98s would have a pump load, meaning you would pump off the load. So I know, I already know uh, the place I'm going to, it's just a drop and hook. So they're not, I'm not pumping off. So. We're gonna go put this uh, MT 5739 on the paperwork. Well, I thought I was gonna be here longer. I've been here for an hour and 29 minutes and he said about another hour and a half probably to get that trailer loaded and then mine. So that means if that's about right, that means I would be here for about three hours. Not too bad. I usually, I didn't even come here early. I came here, my appointment was at 11, but this place is always a little bit later. So I try not to come too early. So now that i know what my trailer number is mt 5739 yay he's taking my trailer to go get loaded yay all right he just dropped my trailer but he's got to go get the paperwork but he said i could go ahead and get get connected to her so let's get connected to this trailer here all right there we go all right let's go get these uh get these hose connected sprinkling out here a little bit go all right there's two now and once he gets my my paperwork the tire looks kind of low there we go so pick you up one of these air hoses i'm going to show you how to connect this to air up your tires when you're on the road all right, all right let me show you how i connect this hose we're going to connect it to the glad hand over here so I dropped my bag, so we're safe to take this off. All right, all right, so what we're gonna do, connect them together like an X, make sure they go in the grooves. I'm gonna make sure they slide together. All right, so now they're snapped into place. Now we need to supply air. To supply air to our air hose is we gotta push in the red trailer air supply button and now we got air now we should have air over here at the tip of the hose yeah we got air you hear it hissing all right so we're gonna check the tire we got 50 pounds all right let's go ahead and put some air in it you done for the day now or you still got a couple you're gonna be here all day huh all night well i hope yeah. not <laughs> i got i got one more to put in but he's not gonna do it so uh -huh. i talked him into doing one more so that's one well, I'll have to do it in the morning, so. I got you. Yeah, I get as much done. That's how I feel. I'll get as much done in a day, so I'll have less to do tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't, we don't load on Sundays anymore down here. All right, 96. So, so it gets really boring down here on Sundays. All right, buddy. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, man. All right, we got 100 pounds in her. My legs are hurting after that, boy. All right. Let me turn this, uh, stop supplying this air. 
Yeah, so that's how you do it. Now we just gotta take these off here. Bam. So that's it right there, guys. That's how you do it. All right, let's put this back on here on the trailer. I'll wind our hose back up here. Okay, all right, there we go. And we are pulling up to Mars Pet Care in Mattoon, Illinois. Uh, now this place is a drop and hook. Hopefully they have an empty trailer for me. I gotta stop and there's a call box over here on the right. I'm gonna, I gotta call them before they'll open this uh, gate arm up. Oh yeah, this is Rex with uh, Prime. I'm in a uh, liquid tanker. I got some digest for delivery. Yes, I have. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh tired so this is the first uh first office we got to check in and then we got to roll around back what's the trailer number uh trailer number is uh mt5739 Well, I need the copy of the scale ticket and the wash ticket. There should be doubles in there. Yeah, one of those. And then uh, the uh, wash ticket should be in the back. Yeah, one of those. All right, thank you. Yep, that's what I needed. All right. Sorry if I grab one of these bags of treats, it says on here. I so. All right, I got, I got a dog. Okay, I grab two of them. You can take a box. I can take a box? Yeah. Really? All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Y'all, happy holidays. Our little dog gonna be happy with these right here. We get the denty sticks anyways. That's pretty cool. Got a free box. Heck yeah, thank you, uh, Mars Pet Care. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. Now we're gonna pull around back. <coughs> <coughs> All right. I hope they got an empty trailer here. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. Hoping one of these trailers over here is gonna be empty. The only thing I like about this place is they can never tell me if they got an empty trailer exactly. I have to go around and search and check all these trailers. That looks like a Milky Way that's sitting over right there. I don't know if any of those are, are empty, but I guess I'll have to find out. See if we can get it back in over here. Oh, it's gonna be tight. I could get it though. I could get it. Be a tight fit, but I could get her. There we go. That should be good right there. All right, now we're gonna drop her. All right, all right, let's get her dropped, y'all. I had to back her up at an angle a little bit because there's another trailer. Let me turn, where's my utility light at? Where the heck? All right, there we go. Now I should be able to see a little bit better. There we go that off. Alright, there we go. We'll just lay this on the catwalk. Alright, here we go. Alright, so loaded trailer, concrete. Now we need to drop our bags. So I'm going to turn off the utility light and I'm going to go ahead and drop my airbags. The load gauge is going down, so it's relieving the pressure off the fifth wheel. All right, All right let's get out from underneath it. There we go, perfect. Cool. Uh, now I gotta go check in over here, check in here with them and see if any of these uh, trailers over here are, these trailers are empty or not. All right, so I just got to fill this out before I take it in there. I think that's all I needed to fill out. I got my pen just in case, but 
I just needed the basic information, you know, the company, Prime, and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna check. That's a Prime tra trailer over here. It says Milky Way. Uh, I'm gonna check that after I give them the, the paperwork. So like I said, this place is a drop and hook, drop my loaded. I'm hoping that's an empty over here. And first place you saw where we checked in at, this is the, after you drop your trailer, you fill out this uh, blue sheet. This is what they give you when you first check in. You just put your the company name, phone number, your name, the date, the time, and you just bring it back here to these boys and they'll be like good to go. I'm not sure if anyone's back here. In a mail slot. All right, so no one's here, so I'm gonna put my paperwork in the mail slot, which is what I did. Slid right in there, so now, now I gotta look for a trailer. All right, so I'm gonna start with this trailer over here. All right, so I just, this guy just uh, came out here to talk to me. So they don't have any empty trailers here and they don't have any overnight parking. This guy I dealt with before, uh, last time I dealt with him, I don't know, he was just having a bad day or an attitude, but same like the same thing. So uh, I did ask him if I could stay here overnight, but he said no, basically, so. Uh, and they don't have an empty trailer, so I gotta go to a bob and pop truck stop somewhere. Uh, they come back tomorrow in the morning, so yeah, I gotta get out of here. Uh, there is a mom and pop truck stop nine minutes away from here, so I'm pretty sure there'll be a parking spot I can I can fit in, even if their parking lot's uh, filled up because I'm bobtail right now. So, like I said, they're not gonna let me stay here, and I'm gonna have to come back in the morning after I take my 10-hour reset. So we're gonna get on up out of here. I have gotten away with staying over, uh, overnight here once, but the guy that I just talked to, uh, that wasn't the same guy that I dealt with before. So yeah, the guy that I just talked to, he's uh, I don't know what his, I don't know what his deal is. I don't know if he hates his life or seemed real down negative, but man, it's all good. We're gonna head up over to this Lambos. Well, hello and good morning there, world. Well, hello and good morning. Oh, I'm still tired. Oh my gosh, oof. Yeah, so the customer, Mars Pet Care in Mattoon, Illinois, they don't have overnight parking. So I made it up here to a mom and pop truck stop. All right, I need to pl unplug my, my internet box here. All right. Woo! All right. Oh yeah. Time for low monster. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Get a little sip of that. And, mm, that's good. We're gonna fire up the old trucker here. All right, so we're here back at Mars Pet Care in Mattoon, Illinois. Gotta open up this call box, give him a call, let them know I'm here to pick up an empty trailer. Oh yeah, this is uh, Rex with Prime, uh, here to pick up an empty uh, trailer. A tanker trailer. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about my truck is this seatbelt squeak. Everything else has been great with this truck. No issues with it. Not one. All right. Dun, 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 dun. There's a trailer I dropped off over there to the right. Okay, this one I bet you this one's a. Uh, this one's got to be empty. Oh, okay. Where's the back of the cap at? It's missing the back of the cap. So I'm gonna have to go. So this one did get unloaded because there's no seals on it. So I'm gonna be hooking up to this trailer, but I'm gonna have to go in here and talk to these boys to find out where the back of the the cap is on that. So, I mean, I got a I got an extra one, but that's like that's for backup for emergencies. I'm not gonna put it on there. Uh, man, that tire back there doesn't look that pretty. So I'm gonna be getting hooked up to this trailer right here and then i'm gonna go inside and see if they have the cap for the back of that tanker for the the outlet yeah the three inch cap and then after i hook up to this i'm gonna be going up to a loves and i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be waiting for dispatch to uh send me a load let me know where i'm gonna be going next to get washed out 
probably uh, East St. Louis or um, there's another place up in Illinois. I can't remember the name of it. So it, they're both of the places. They're not that far. So I'll find out where I'm getting washed out at. But thanks, thank you so much for checking out my video. Make sure you give me that thumbs up. Smack that subscribe button. And let's just keep on doing some trucking, y'all.